This Monday night, we start with Joshua Davis. He has a closer look at how the wagering will work. Every March, it's all about the hoops. And even though the NCAA tournament already generates a ton of attention, experts expect that legalized sports gambling will drive it up even further. It is the largest betting moment on the calendar. Joe Maloney is the senior vice president of the American Gaming Association. He says the timing of sports betting being legalized in North Carolina couldn't be better and that North Carolina, among other states, will contribute to a huge revenue boom that we're actually able to take a look at the data across the nearly 38 states and now the District of Columbia that is legal and arrive at an estimate for the legal amount that will be wagered in legal and regulated states. That number sits, according to our estimates with the AGA, at $2.72 billion. He adds that number includes betting on March Madness brackets and bracket challenges. Todd McFall, an economics professor at Wake Forest, says even if you were to pick the number one seed in the tournament, that's not a bet you could realistically cash in on. If each of these games were a coin flip, whatever one half to the 63rd power would be would be the odds of getting a perfect bracket so it's considerably higher than that but nonetheless it'd be like catching a meteor coming from earth from coming from space before it hits the earth like just absolutely totally improbable he adds the biggest thing to keep in mind is with gambling is that it, it it's entertainment and as long as you like stick strict to a budget for entertainment it's not a problem. Uh, I think that the problem that we're going to see some with gambling is that people are going to have a hard time sticking with their budgets. If you or a loved one find yourself struggling with problem gambling, you can call the number at the bottom of your screen. We'll also have a link to resources on WXII12.com. In Winston-Salem, I'm Joshua Davis for WXII 12 News.